Hey y'all, it's Katie uh, coming back to you. It is Tuesday, April 12th, 2016. Um, last video I did was uh, two days ago, which was six days past five day transfer. And I had gotten a positive home pregnancy test. Um, I did do another test yesterday. Um, it was darker and then today's test um, so this was the one from six days past five day transfer which I think you can see a lot better today than um, than it was yesterday this was seven days past different test but pretty clear and um, I started reading about like HCG in your system and some of these women were worried that they were getting um, or I had read that it can last up to two weeks but um, then I remembered I only had a thousand um, I use of HCG as part of my trigger shot to avoid the OHSS so um, basically I think the rule of thumb is uh, one day per thousand um, I use so I think I'm pretty I think I'm out of the clear pretty sure and then today um, is eight days past five day transfer sorry this is um, this was just this morning same test as the first day I took and it's a lot darker yeah. definitely I feel like heading in the right direction so again tomorrow is my beta so I'm, I'm, at, I'm looking forward to it um, I probably won't hear until the afternoon I have to go early in the morning uh, for the blood work they'll call me in the afternoon I think that's pretty much standard protocol what I did want to touch on today um, just something that I have been finding really successful and so wanted to share it was um, progesterone and oil shots so, um, those of you who are doing shots, um, or who will be doing shots, I just wanted to kind of give you a little, some tips that I've been using. Some I had gotten off of YouTube or read about, but then one in particular, um, I've touched on before, but, um, just wanted to kind of go over it. So, um, progesterone and oil comes in these little vials. It's pretty thick, you know, just kind of like the same consistency of olive oil. Um, so my first tip is when you, um, it's early in the day, so I probably won't, um, draw one back just yet, but, um, I, for, well, I guess let me start off by first saying when they order the needles, they'll order you, um, 22 and a half gauge needles. I had read a video that even suggested ordering 25 gauge, um, I remember when I ordered them or went to order them, um, the lady at the pharmacy just kind of said, you know, it's going to take a lot longer for it to go through the needle. So I ended up going halfway in between. So I use a 23 and a half gauge needle. Um, I don't know if it makes that big of a difference, but it is a smaller gauge. She said slightly smaller. So um, you can kind of see that here. Looks intimidating, but through these steps, I think you'll be able to tolerate it a lot more. So, um, you'll just want to draw it back, um, draw some air, push some air into the vial. And what I find helpful with oil is you draw back, you release back in, you draw back again. It feels like every time you kind of release and then draw back, more will come into um, your syringe. I usually go to between one and one and a half, um, filling it that way. That way I can flick the air bubbles out and then push the remainder back up to one cc back into the vial. Then this, y'all will laugh, either sits under my booby or in my armpit for 30 to 35 minutes. And the reason for that is your body heat will naturally um, warm the liquid. And just as if you would put olive oil in a... Um, in a, in a saucepan, the oil will start to um, liquefy a little bit more, thus making it easier for injection. So, you know, it's not 
you don't have to put it in a heating pad or anything like that. Like sometimes I'll just stick it right under my bra and let it just kind of sit there obviously with the cap on or I'll just sit doing whatever um, with it tucked up under my armpit for a half an hour. The reason I do a half an hour is because the second part of this is what I do to minimize the pain. So um, obviously the subcutaneous shots that are in your stomach are like really, you can barely feel those and um, they're not bad. But when you move over to sub -Q, obviously the needles are bigger and you know you can feel it a little bit more. So I had ordered this on Amazon. It's called Numb Master. I'm sure they have several different brands you can choose from, um, but it's just a little one ounce jar of topical anesthetic cream. I think it has, uh, yes, 5% lidocaine. And so I had read a lot of reviews that, you know, people were saying, oh, I use this before I get a tattoo and I don't feel it. Or um, I use this because I get my blood drawn a lot and it really helps um, curb the pain of the needle or um, I use it, you know, before I know I'm going to get an IV, um, put in. So I thought, what the heck, I will try it. It was kind of pricey. It was $20 or so for this one little jar, but, um, I've used it, gosh, how many days now I'm, you do it ever since, um, your egg retrieval. So, I am technically 13 days past uh, 13 days past ovulation or egg retrieval, so roughly the, tonight will be my 13th, I believe. Don't mind my words, um, but it's just a little white clear cream. I usually get a a good. They say to get a nice decent size amount on um, for the spot, and I'll just kind of show you. Basically, if I can figure out how to show you here. You just want to like really dab it on like thick, very liberally, you know, in a small area. It doesn't have to be big. Obviously, you're only injecting in one tiny spot. So it's just like that. Then obviously, because it's on your tushy or your upper, upper tush, I then use <laughs> Glad Cling Wrap. Um, I just pull off a piece. I'll just show you small piece doesn't have to be very big it just needs to cover the area of your shot you lay it over there you can just kind of press it down and then literally I just pull my underwear or pants or whatever I'm wearing up over that and that stays on um, my skin for 30 to 35 minutes take this off and literally I don't feel a thing. I really don't. Um, it's interesting, like I can, before my husband does the injection, I can even like take the tip of my fingernail and just kind of press where it is and then where it's not and I can feel, you know, like if you stab your, stab, if you um, press, if you have fingernail press, you know, you can, you can feel the the pinch of your fingernail on your skin and then I would do it in the area of which I had the numb master on and I did not feel anything you can obviously feel the pressure of yourself pushing in but I don't feel any pain of my fingernail so I figured if I can't feel my fingernail I'm probably not gonna feel the injection and sure enough I don't so for like a half an hour of prep work that's really not it really doesn't affect anything I could cook I could fold laundry I can do whatever in that half an hour um, with my little needle under my arm um, but I just find it really helpful it just takes the pressure off the injection it doesn't really help with any symptoms afterwards I mean I certainly still get like tenderness in the area especially the next day feels like you got sort of like a tetanus shot um, it's just sensitive um, to the touch I haven't really bruised which is good um, but anyway I just wanted to share that because I thought it might be helpful for somebody and for 20 bucks to like not feel the pain of a needle going in your tush on a daily basis to me is like totally worth it in the grand scheme of spending, you know, lots and lots of money on IVF. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Just wanted to check in. I know this was a little bit longer of a video than I intended, but wanted to fill you guys in. Tomorrow's my beta, so hopefully I'll just pop on and it'll be a very short video to let you guys know 
the number. But hope you're having a great Tuesday. I'm still praying for all the women who are out there who are in the midst of egg retrieval or fertilization or just growing their embryos or they're, they're in their two-week wait. Um, as I am technically still. Um, I'm just praying for all of you guys and, and hope that you'll remain encouraged through uh, your journey. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye.